Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio from Stella, and in this video, we're gonna be talking to you about how to recover deleted files from your Mac without software. So I understand the frustration when you have deleted files from your Mac. You've deleted them from your desktop, from your Finder, and now they are gone, and you wish that you could recover them. We're gonna be covering some steps to be able to recover those files that may have been deleted either purposefully or perhaps accidentally. Something that always needs to be considered is are the files actually deleted? It's very, very common that files have been accidentally moved from one spot to another. Perhaps you had them in one folder and now they're in a different folder. They could be in a number of different places. So what you can do is if you know the name of a file or a folder that perhaps has been deleted or you thought was deleted, is to go into the spotlight and search for that particular file. You can do a search yourself and see whether you can find where those files are. Hopefully they haven't actually been deleted and they've just accidentally been moved. So if you can't find your files anywhere, perhaps they have been moved to the recycling bin or to the trash on your Mac. So when you actually delete a file or a folder from your Mac, they don't actually get deleted straight away. They get moved into the trash, into the recycling bin within your Mac itself. So in your dock, you've got a little picture of a trash can, of a bin with some files inside of it. So why don't you open that up and have a look inside and see whether the files that have been deleted are actually in there. Because you never know, maybe they have been deleted but they haven't actually been wiped away from the computer, they're just sitting in the trash. So if the files are sitting on there, that is great news because you can just select those files and then recover and restore those files back onto your Mac. Now in the very first point, we talked about maybe accidentally moving it somewhere else, but what if the file was accidentally renamed? Perhaps this file was clicked on and then some text was entered and now it's called something completely different. I know this has definitely happened to me on more than one occasion where I thought that the file was gone, but in reality, it's just that it was now named something different. Do a spotlight search similar to what we talked about previously and see whether the file is actually given a different name. Now, one thing that is very, very important for a Mac user is to ensure that you have up-to-date backups, that you actually have backups running. Now, the great thing about Mac OS is that there is some software loaded onto every Mac called Time Machine. So you could actually be doing backups already to an external hard drive of some sort. Running Time Machine, which does it automatically in the background, you could actually open up your Time Machine software with your Time Machine backup hard drive plugged into it and recover the data that way. So even if the file has been deleted, the backups that are running continuously or every day using the Time Machine software on your Mac, you could actually recover the data through that method. So if you've tried all of this, and that file is actually gone, that precious document, the files, the photos that you've accidentally lost, you can't recover them, you've tried everything that we've talked about in this video. Now what a lot of people will go and do from here is they'll take their computer or their USB hard drive where the files were kept to a data recovery expert. They'll go and pay a huge amount of money to some professional to actually go and recover the files for you. That's always an option, but before you even go down that route, I recommend that you try to do this yourself. You can actually download some Mac data recovery software by Stella that actually lets you scan your entire hard drive and actually identify files that have been deleted from your Mac yourself. So you can actually scan it yourself and then you can recover the files without having to go and take it to an expert to get that data back for you. So you can get the software for free from the Stella website. You'll find the free version of Mac Data Recovery. So go ahead and download that. Once the download is finished, open up the software, dragging it into your applications folder. 
You can then select what sort of data you want to recover, whether that be everything, or you can be very selective as to what type of data you wish to recover. We then select next and select the hard drive where you're gonna be running the scan against. The scan will take a little bit of time depending on how much data you have, but then once it is finished, you will be presented with a list of all the files that you can recover. You then verify and identify those files that have been deleted, and then you can recover that data directly onto your Mac using the software. Now, the great thing is that the free version lets you actually go and recover up to one gig of data. If you do need to recover more, you can buy the additional version to do that, but one gig is absolutely awesome for the free version of Mac data recovery. So hopefully one of the tips that we talked about in this video helped you to identify where those files have gone and to actually recover some files that may have been accidentally lost on your Mac. But thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel where we will give you more Mac tips.